Ellen Burstyn, a seasoned actress with a career spanning decades, has left an indelible mark on the film industry. When pondering her extensive repertoire, one cannot help but wonder which particular project stands out as defining her illustrious career. Additionally, are there lesser known facts or anecdotes about Burstyn that add layers to her already impressive legacy? Considering her legendary body of work, pinpointing a singular defining moment may be challenging. However, there is undoubtedly a standout performance or project that encapsulates the essence of Burstyn's contributions to the cinematic landscape. Exploring these aspects provides a nuanced understanding of her artistic journey and the impact she has made. As we delve into the multifaceted career of this Hollywood luminary, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to her work. What resonates with you about Ellen Burstyn's performances, and do you have any unique anecdotes to share? Your stories and reflections are welcomed in the comments below. Let the celebration of Ellen Burstyn's cinematic legacy commence, and we look forward to hearing your thoughts and memories. Ellen Burstyn, an accomplished actress with a diverse career, once took a stand against an Oscar rule that affected Liv Ullman's chances in 1974. Burstyn's protest led to her winning an Oscar for her role in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. Beyond her acting prowess, Burstyn is also known for her personal connections, serving as the godmother to Marcia Gay Harden's children from their time together on the Spitfire Grill in 1996. Interestingly, Burstyn's early experiences involved working as an acrobat and a model for paperback covers. These varied aspects of her life contribute to the rich tapestry of Burstyn's career, showcasing her talents and commitment to her craft. Undergoing a profound transformation for her role as Sarah Goldfarb in Requiem for a Dream, Ellen Burstyn wore 20 and 40 pound fat suits and prosthetic necks. This commitment to her craft exemplifies Burstyn's dedication to bringing authenticity to her characters. Beyond her on-screen accomplishments, Burstyn faced a personal struggle in 1950 when she underwent an illegal abortion at five months pregnant, resulting in her infertility. This challenging experience speaks to the resilience and strength she possesses both in her personal life and as an actress. In the realm of acting leadership, Burstyn, alongside Al Pacino and Harvey Cadle, took on a significant role as co-president of the actor's studio in 2000. This position highlights her influence not only as a performer, but also as a figure shaping the future of acting education and mentorship. These facets of Ellen Burstyn's life and career underscore her multifaceted journey, blending personal challenges, artistic dedication, and leadership in the world of acting. Chosen by People magazine as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world in May 2001, Ellen Burstyn's allure extends beyond her acting prowess. This recognition adds another layer to Burstyn's multifaceted journey in the world of entertainment. While her beauty captivates, it's just one facet of a career that spans diverse roles, personal challenges, and impactful leadership. Burstyn's influence goes beyond the screen, evident in her role as the co-president of the actor's studio in 2000, alongside Al Pacino and Harvey Cadel. This position underscores her commitment not only to her craft, but also to shaping the future of acting education and mentorship. As an acting mentor to Megan Mullally, Burstyn continues to contribute to the growth and development of talent in the industry. Beyond accolades and glamorous titles, Burstyn's impact resonates in the varied chapters of her life, revealing a woman of resilience, dedication, and enduring beauty. In 2009, Ellen Burstyn achieved a significant milestone in her illustrious career, becoming the 20th person to win the Triple Crown of Acting an Academy Award, a Tony Award, and an Emmy Award. Her Academy Award came in 1975 for Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, a role that showcased her acting prowess and earned her well-deserved recognition. However, Burstyn's journey extends beyond accolades. After her parents' divorce, she attended St. Mary's Academy in Windsor, Ontario, before returning to her roots in Detroit following her mother's remarriage. This early chapter in her life marked the beginning of a resilient and determined path. Notably, Burstyn played her Academy Award-nominated character from same time, next year on Broadway First, winning a Tony Award for Best Actress in 1975. Her decision not to attend the Academy Awards ceremony that year, fearing the pressure and attention, reflected the complexity of her relationship with fame. 
Martin Scorsese, the director of Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, accepted the Oscar on her behalf. Beyond the glitz of awards, Burstyn's impact resonates in her commitment to acting education and mentorship. As co-president of the Actors Studio in 2000, she, alongside Al Pacino and Harvey Cadle, shaped the future of the industry. Burstyn's influence extends to her role as an acting mentor to talents like Megan Mullally, contributing to the growth and development of aspiring actors. In summary, Ellen Burstyn's journey encompasses not just the triumphs of awards, but also the resilience forged in personal challenges and the dedication to shaping the future of acting. Ellen Burstyn's multifaceted journey extends beyond the spotlight. A lesser known aspect of her life reveals a unique commitment she turned down the lead role and one flew over the cuckoo's nest to care for her sick husband. This selfless decision showcases Burstyn's priorities beyond the silver screen. Away from Hollywood, Burstyn, ordained as a minister, embraces a lifestyle distinct from the glitz and glamour. She abstains from alcohol and coffee, embracing yoga as part of her routine. This personal choice reflects Burstyn's discipline and dedication beyond her acting roles. In 1962, Burstyn welcomed motherhood into her life by adopting her son, Jefferson Roberts, with her now ex-husband, Paul Roberts. Today, she cherishes the role of a grandmother with one grandchild. This family-oriented dimension adds depth to Burstyn's life, emphasizing her commitment beyond the realm of fame. Ellen Burstyn's journey is more than accolades and awards. It's about choices driven by love, discipline, and a commitment to family, revealing a woman of substance beyond the screen. Part of an illustrious lineage of Strasbourg alumni, Ellen Burstyn shares a connection with iconic figures like Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, James Dean, Marilyn Monroe, and many more. Her journey in acting is intertwined with a legacy of talent that has left an indelible mark on the industry. In the realm of accolades, Burstyn stands among the select few. She belongs to the exclusive group of 14 Best Actress Oscar winners who chose not to personally accept their Academy Award. Burstyn's distinction in this group comes from her exceptional performance in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, adding another layer to her remarkable career. Beyond the glitz of awards, Burstyn's personal life holds a poignant chapter. Her third husband, Neil Burstyn, initially a promising actor and writer, tragically descended into mental illness, turning violent. The tumultuous relationship, marked by stalking and terrorization, culminated in Neil's suicide in 1978, revealing the personal challenges that accompanied Burstyn's rise to stardom. As we delve into Ellen Burstyn's multifaceted journey, we witness not just the glamour of Hollywood but the complexities of her personal choices and the resilience that defines her character. This glimpse into her life offers a nuanced understanding of a woman whose impact transcends the silver screen. As we bid adieu to this exploration into the realm of cinematic brilliance, I encourage you, dear reader, to pause and reflect upon the cinematic tapestry woven by the seasoned artist we've had the privilege to discuss. Your personal connection with this distinguished actress is undoubtedly rich with moments that resonate with the essence of the human experience. Consider the performances that linger in the corridors of your memory, the characters whose stories have intertwined with your own. What thoughts and emotions do they evoke? What lasting impressions have they etched upon the canvas of your cinematic journey? This is an invitation to share, to articulate those nuanced reflections that make the magic of storytelling a deeply personal and communal experience. In your musings, celebrate the profound impact that transcends the screen and transcends time itself. Share your favorite memories, the scenes that stirred your soul, and the dialogues that linger in the quiet recesses of your contemplation. Let your voice join the collective symphony of admiration for a talent that has left an indelible mark on the landscape of entertainment. As we draw the curtains on this discourse, let gratitude be our parting sentiment. Gratitude for the artistry that enriches our lives, for the moments of transcendence gifted by the performers who breathe life into stories. Your time and engagement in this reflective journey are deeply appreciated. With that, I bid you farewell, mindful of the shared appreciation for an artist whose legacy echoes in the annals of cinematic history. Until our paths cross again in the realm of storytelling, remember the power of narrative to connect, inspire, and provoke introspection.